everyone, we're here on the floor at GDC 2023 and I am very excited to be talking with the developer of Deliver Us Mars. So to get us started, do you want to tell us more about the game? Yes, of course. Very happy to be here, so thank you for uh, inviting us. Um, Deliver Us Mars, uh, it's in a, a space adventure, very dramatic adventure about an astronaut going to Mars, find out some answers um, about her uh, long lost father. Very cool. I know that you've been balancing a narrative as well as puzzle solving and all that kind of stuff. How did you find the balance of gameplay versus compelling narrative storytelling? We, we love cinema. So uh, it, it started off by having this idea about like how does it feel to be an astronaut, but then again we are telling a story among the stars. So we still want to stay grounded or something that you can identify with. So. Therefore, the story about a family, a daughter and a father, was something that was very important to us to keep the story very close to the heart. Absolutely, and it turned out wonderfully, if I may Thank say you. so myself. Thank you. So what would you say is your favorite mechanic as far as gameplay goes? I love what we did with climbing. We did something a little bit less conventional. Uh, you can kind of see what we did is in um, more of a mini game. So. While it's not really a wave traversal, it is a really different way to traverse your way on the landscape of Mars. It makes it a little bit dangerous. Some people even find it a little bit difficult. And we want that. We want people to feel that, that edge of danger. Of course, our MPT puzzles, it's kind of like shifting energy from one place to another, microwave power transmission. Um, yeah, I think we had some really fun little mechanics that kind of take you out of the speed, take you out of the drama, need to solve it a little bit and then you continue your journey. The graphics are stunning in this game. So how did you land on that art style to begin with? Was it originally the, the plan to go kind of realistic or did it just feel right for the story that you were telling? It, that, it, I guess it's naturally came that way. It's something uh, we as a company love. We love this high definition graphics. We love to work with Unreal Engine. We love to really push our boundaries. I think Unreal Make is possible for us to not have an engine team and we can kind of lean on all the features that Unreal has. If you compare it to, let's say, 20 years ago, this was impossible to create with a team like our size. And that is really uh, igniting us in, in the stories and in the games that we are telling. So for us as a small studio to be even come close to this high fidelity graphics and the way we, we make games, are very proud that we came to this graphical level. Absolutely. Well, extremely inspiring story of Deliver Us Mars. Do you have any advice from your small studio to any other small studios who might be watching? If you have an ambition for something and if you have a, a certain goal that you have in mind or you believe in a story, in your game, in something that you find important, the world to know, go for it. Just do it. Don't, don't think about it twice. Just go for it and, and figure it out along the way. It's very important that that's, that story has been told, so really go for it. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today about your project. It is stunning, beautiful, all of the amazing adjectives I can think of. So Thanks. for anyone at home who's interested in learning more about it, where can they find more about your game? I would say if you Google the Lifros Marsh, uh, you will find every favorite platform uh, pop up. So if you like to play on Xbox or on PlayStation or PC, how are we on it all? So uh, Google us and you'll find uh, Deliver Us Mars anywhere. For all of you at home, if you're interested in seeing more of these interviews, you can find more information at dev.epicgames.com community.